Hello viewers, welcome to this video, right? Um, today I'm gonna be starting a new series on Google Cloud Platform for beginners. So this is going to be my first video where I'm gonna show you how to get started by setting up or signing up your um, account with Google Cloud Platform. So um, when you, so before starting this series, let me tell you, I've got no experience using Google Cloud Platform on a daily basis, although I've got um, few experience. I've tried Google Cloud Platform. Indeed, I've done a video um, on how to set up your Kubernetes cluster in GKE. Um, at various points, I've tried Google Cloud Platform, but I'm kind of an AWS person. Um, so I'm learning Google Cloud Platform and I'm as I learn every uh, concept, I'm, I've decided to record a video for that. So bear with me. If I've got anything wrong, um, please don't uh, hesitate to correct me in the comment section. So this video, the first video is um, about setting up your account. So that's the first place we are going to start. So obviously you need an account in Google Cloud Platform to be able to try out few things. So the first thing is when you sign up for Google Cloud Platform, you're gonna get uh, some free tier for, for the first 12 months and they will be giving you a $300 free credit. So the, the way it works is um, when you sign up for the free, uh, free tier account, when you sign up for the uh, uh, the free trail, the $300 free trail account. And as you start using Google Cloud resources, you will um, start using the, start using your credits, like $300 credits. And when it expires, um, that's it. Or you can keep it for like 12 months. So whichever is earlier, either you expire your credits soon or it lasts up to 12 months. After that, uh, by the way, when you are signing up for your Google Cloud account, you need to link your debit or credit card. but they won't charge you anything uh, by by the end of 12 months or when you have exhausted your uh, free credits, uh, you will be sent an email notification asking you to upgrade your account to continue using your Google account. So at that point, when you upgrade your account, you will be you'll be paying as you go, pay as you go kind of concept. All right, so let's get started. Um, I've got my email account ready, a brand new email account that I have created for uh, signing up Google Cloud. Um, so let's get started cloud.google.com slash free. So basically you get um, certain benefits here. As I told, you get the $300 free credit uh, for the first 12 months or um, how soon you use $300. And there are certain products that are always free, but there are limits. Let's take a look. For example, Cloud Run, you've got 2 million requests per month. Um, Firestore database, one gig storage, compute engine. So you can use this particular instance f1 micro we'll take a look at different instance types in a separate video but um, this one here is always free f1 micro instance per month but uh, there is one thing that you need to be aware of um, it's available only in the u.s regions but that too excluding northern virginia u.s east for when you attach 30 gig hard disk 5 gb month for the snapshots and so on. So you've got five gig cloud storage. Again, that's available only in the US regions only. So these are, there are certain services that you can use uh, for free always, but make sure to read the documentation about what is free and what is not free after you've used your uh, free credits, all right? So that's uh, the free tier, cloud.google.com slash free. And I will post a link to this page in the video description if you want it. Okay, so. As I've already logged into my Gmail account using my uh, newly created email account, just me and open source at gmail.com. And when I uh, went to cloud.google.com slash free page, I'm already signed in so I can just get started. So clicking this button, get started for free and uh, let's get that done. So um, during this process, we will also be looking at um, adding your billing account or um, activating your free credit free free trails uh, free trial account okay so accepting the terms email updates i would like to receive periodic emails no i'm not bothered about it so click continue and you can see here 300 dollars free credit and no auto charge after free trail ends we ask you for your credit card details to make sure that you are not a robo you won't be charged unless you manually upgrade to a paid account. So at the end of the 12 month period or when you have exhausted your $300, um, you will be asked to upgrade your account. Unless you upgrade your account, you won't be charged anything, okay? So clicking continue, we will uh, get redirected to the uh, homepage. 
and then we can start um, setting up the account okay so account type definitely not business um, individual so I'm gonna fill in my um, address here and how you pay monthly automatic payments so they accept either credit or debit card and you need to enter your card details here and your address those are the two things required here so I'm gonna pause the video or gonna while I'm entering these details here I don't want you to see my address I don't want you I know you people are kind but I don't want you to send any gifts to my address okay all right so I've entered my details I'm gonna click on this button start my free trial setting up your free trial setting up billing okay so we've got it Google Cloud Platform got it okay so um, you will notice few things here so when you sign up for the free account uh, you already have a project created for you so there is this my first project by default but on a separate video I'll show you how we can create a new project and attach a billing account to that project okay so we've got our projects here if you click on this uh, drop down here you can see at the moment we don't have any organization that's a separate topic you can uh, probably in my next video I will show you how the resources are um, arranged or organized within uh, your Google Cloud account okay so there's this notification here that says create project my first project which was created automatically when you signed up okay and uh, okay so that's um, your dashboard okay so um, the, the credit card that I've used for this account is the same credit card that I use for my other account so it's not showing me the uh, uh, the free trial status here but if you're using it for the first time you will see uh, a pop-up on the top here showing uh, a button to activate your free account so you need to activate and it will ask you for uh, your credit card details and then it, you will get from there okay and once you've done that you will have an icon here a gift icon and if you click that it will show you the status of your free credit and you can also look at that status uh, in the billing um, dashboard okay so we've got our billing dashboard and uh, I can see my free trial credit here which is 244 pounds um, it's 300 US dollars which is around 244 pounds okay and it's expiring in 364 days ends 6th April 2021 if you want to upgrade your account you have an option to upgrade at this point but I'm not worried about doing that I've got 12 more months to play with it okay so if we go to uh, the home page you've got this dashboard which you can customize if I click on customize let's say I want billing uh, I don't want error reporting I don't want news I don't want documentation API I don't want the getting started links trace okay and if I click done okay cool that's looking better and you can rearrange it all right so um, after you sign up you will get an email I've already got an email here Google Cloud Platform it says to complete your profile let's do that completing your profile how would you describe your role let's say developer how do you plan to use GCP uh, to enhance my skill set what area of the platform are you most interested in computing virtual machines container orchestration I think I'm basically interested in everything so I say I want to evaluate the full platform what GCP products are you interested in learning about um, app engine cloud storage compute engine container engine so on I accept submit okay so that's it all right so that's our dashboard and uh, this is where we are going to start all my uh, future videos are going to be based on this uh, Google account Google Cloud account and we will see lots of concepts in the upcoming videos um, I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video if you've got any questions let me know and I will see you all in my next video bye bye